Am Mr. I Fetter, going somewhere? Yep, you come with us. Why? Because you were breaking the cars this morning. Do you obviously have... didn't go to farm and college school. Neither did you. Do you... No, actually I did. And you know, we had out to catch Alan just a little bit. What do you know? It's 2 p.m. in Holmdel, New Jersey, where police respond to a neighborhood after multiple residents said they spotted a woman trying to open car doors. Come on out. Hands up, come out. said the suspect was caught on several video doorbells pulling car handles in the early morning hours. Meanwhile, officers searched this home after another resident reported hearing someone inside, but it's not long until police realize what's going on here. Yeah, what did you see? What did you look like? I don't know. He had a mask on. And then you saw him in the, in the basement? I saw him run through, I heard him run through all my stuff. It's all, it's all disheveled. All my things are all disheveled. The stuff that's in my, um, in, in my closet is all disheveled. Do you, uh, do you have any cameras inside the stuff, house? The stuff is missing. Would you tell the woman about? Her? No, 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 no. Hey, come over here. Come over here. What's your first name? Oh, that's her. She's one day. I told her the cameras are on because I think she knows him. You think she knows him? Yes. Kevin, can you look this caller up in IMC? See if she's a 37. Who is that? Your, fr your friend? So, this is your friend? That's my friend. Okay. Does she, does she live here? No. No? She, I'm telling you. She what? I heard, I heard them on the phone. I heard them on the phone. I heard, I heard. Like I heard footsteps. All my stuff is disheveled. Look, my stuff is even. Some stuff is gone from there. You could just just stay up here for for now. You don't you don't have any cameras though. No. Yeah. So who's your friend? I mean, what, she's, and she doesn't live here? No. What's she doing here? She's visiting. She's visiting? Yeah. How long has she been here for? Just today. Just today? Yeah. When did she get here? Um, 
she got in here and was like, it was like, maybe, I don't know, it was 6 o'clock in the morning. 6 o'clock this morning? Yeah. Oh, this time. Kind of is this her jacket or are these pants? Police put two and two together and realize a jacket belonging to the woman's friend matches what the suspect was wearing in neighbor security videos. Officers take one last look in the resident basement before confronting the suspect. Uh, take over here. Is that, is that yours or hers? This jean jacket with the first one. Oh, that's what you're wearing. Yeah. There you go. Why? Uh, nothing. We're just we're trying to get that's hers. get this whole this whole. This is hers. Work. Yeah, that's hers. Right. Should I grab it and show it to her, and or just? These shoes are okay. hers. Oh, those shoes are hers. Yeah. Let's see. We're good to go. Grab that and cover it. Cover it. Why are you taking her stuff? What's that? Why are you taking her stuff? I'm just giving it to her. Yeah. Why? Yeah, you want to take the coat? Is yours? Yeah. Why? What's that? Yeah, throw it on. It's a little chilly out here. Police identify the woman seen here as 40-year-old Shadi Corum, who they say matched the suspect's description. Oh, okay. So, where were you guys at? Were you in the living room, in the kitchen? Or, like, were you like, hiding, or were you just waiting for the police to arrive? Am I going somewhere? Yep, yeah, you come with us. Why? Because you were breaking the cars this morning, up and down the road. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. I, there's a video of, of a woman wearing this jacket walking up and down the road. <laughs> Alright, stop, stop. I'll, I'll do it. Just come on, turn around. Talk about it in a little bit. Okay? Just relax. Um, it's okay. Okay, I stop. We'll have the that. opportunity to talk about it more if you want. Okay. Stop. I oh, know. I'm not doing anything. It looks like an actor. Yeah. You can you show me a camera? Yeah, sure thing? can. We'll show you a okay. bunch. We're going to give you everything inside headquarters, okay? Okay. Okay. You got very small hands, so let's make sure they're on, right? She helped the hurt. Well, unfortunately, they weren't made for comfort. And it looks like you still got plenty of room. And then, sure. Right. We're going this way. Okay. Hey there, everybody. We're going to get you right back to that body cam in just a minute. But before we do, I have a question for you. What do a lot of the body cams on this channel make clear? Is it the world is just a crazy and totally unpredictable place? I think that's a fair assessment. But here's the thing. One of the most unpredictable things to happen to you in life is if you get injured. What do you do next? Well, that is why I want to talk to you guys about our amazing partner and sponsor of our body cam channel, Morgan and Morgan. This is a firm with over a thousand attorneys you may want in your corner because they are America's largest injury law firm. They are specialists in this area. And you know why they're so big? Because they win a lot. Multi-million dollar verdicts and settlements. They make the process super easy for their clients too because from starting a claim to uploading documents to talking to your legal team, it can all be done on your smartphone. Also, there's no upfront fee. You only pay them if you win. So if you're injured, you can easily start a claim at forthepeople.com slash lcbodycamchat. Where's this supposed to go? It's the, it's, it's yeah. that course. Yep. Hey, I was just talking to your friend in there. She said you guys were you on anything? Yeah. Do you need anything? Are you going to be okay if we take you, or do you need some kind of medication dosage? One officer pulls the patrol car forward before the suspect makes a seemingly innocent request. What do you need?
You need a max pad. Do you have a wallet? Do you have a wallet inside? Nothing. No ID. Okay. Hey, she needs a, a maxi pad. Can you run inside and grab one? I'm not kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was trying to find a way to have Wilson grab it. They're, uh, they're grab one, right? I'm pretty sure they need more work good. What? We shouldn't need anything. When we get back, when we get back, and see, when we get... I'm still disgusting right now. I'm sorry. All right. Okay. When we, as soon as we get in. Okay. Once I got you in handcuffs, I gotta I got, I got wait till I get inside with you. All right, he's just grabbing, he's grabbing that. I'll be, we'll be on our way in just a moment. Back at the police station, Shadi insists on going to the bathroom. Give me a minute. All right, just have a seat. What's that? Yep, yep, I'm going to. Just stay seated, all right? I gotta step out for one minute. A female officer arrives and takes the 40-year-old to a bathroom where things quickly escalate. Once back in the room, Shadi has a few different stories to tell. And I want to see the video. I want to see the video, please. I'm going to show you it too, all right? Yeah. Okay. What's up? What is? Well, what is? What's in there? You tell me what it is. from her? I swear to God. So whose is it? It's... Her whole house is covered. Check everything. 
Okay. So if you don't need to, we'll fingerprint you and we'll get you out of here. You might you may be released in a, in, a, in an hour or two. Otherwise, you're going to be here for until the hospital releases you, and then you're going to come back here. We're going to fingerprint you and have to go through the same process. So it could you could something that's going to take an hour and a half to something that's going to take five, six, seven hours. We're going to show it to you. So do you want do you want us to do you want first aid? Yes or no? No, I guess I'll wait. You'll wait. Okay. Just Shadi decides not to go to the hospital, but she's not done talking yet. I want to see the video. I'm gonna show it to you. All right. No phone. No. Okay. You born in New Jersey? Yep. No. In New York. New York, like in the city. Why isn't she in the right now? What's that? The reason you're under arrest is for the car burglaries this morning. What car burglaries? I'm gonna show you. All right. First of all, I didn't take anything from anyone. Okay, you still can't go into property that's not yours. But I didn't go to properties that were not mine. I was looking. Someone was meeting me somewhere, and I, I got the wrong car. It was the only thing. It was one. Okay. And then ran away. You know that. All right. Soon enough, the suspect realizes she won't exactly be talking her way out of it and tries another tactic. Okay, 
Well, if you don't tug on it, it's not going to hurt. Okay? Well, if you don't put it on... No, like, this wouldn't be happening if you weren't trying to slip it off. That's not true. I was trying to slip it off because I was freaking hurting me because you're making it so freaking tight. Like, it wasn't tight until you tried to get it off of your wrist. This? It was tight right there. Yes, it was. The wrong freaking person. And it was from one car that there was another car down the street and I can have him talk to you. Then I don't want to break him. So here. it was alright to go into that one? No, I thought it was my friend's car. Oh, alright, alright. It was! He's the same name, Rim, Bottle, everything. busy with other stuff. I'm trying to get you out here as quick as I can, okay? Eventually, officers get back to questioning Shadi about her, let's just say, hidden items. Don't look at me like that. Well, I gotta make sure you're secure. I think more projectiles vomit out of my throat. I don't know, that one flew out from somewhere. Yeah, a medication that I'm prescribed. Yeah, we're not, we're not pharmacists. We don't, we don't know. I don't really give it. All right. I went to pharmacology school. Did you? No. Oh, yeah? How's that going? slapping on that charge too. Or CDS. You can do that and then I will bring to court the fact that you guys f***ed up because I'm on it. It's not up when you don't have any prescription. I have a prescription. It's actually in there. Okay. That's this is called yes. yes, this is fluid form. Right? That is... What difference does it make? Sometimes they give me the pills. Sometimes they give me the thing. It's the same drug. Okay. Do you have Obviously, didn't go to farm and college. Neither did you. Do you no, actually, I did. Soon enough, officers realize this is not Shoddy's first rodeo with the law. When's the last time? I've gotten three hours of sleep since I had this like, oh. When's the last time you were in any trouble? Roughly. Like two months ago. Last month. Last month. Last month. Last month. Last month. Last Last Domestic? Yeah. Okay. Did you get arrested? Yeah. Yeah. Did he get arrested too? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. 
So what, they just charge you with assault? Both of you? They charged me because he took my phone and went into the bathroom and was calling people on it. So I took a knife, like, to open, you know, like, those door? Yeah. So with, like, the slit. So I was just trying to open the door, and they, they charged me assault with a weapon. Oh, they charged you with the weapon fence? Shadi was taken to the Monmouth County Jail and booked for multiple charges, including burglary, criminal attempt, and drug possession. Court records show she later pleaded guilty to one count of burglary while all other charges were dismissed. The 40-year-old was sentenced to two years probation. All right, we're going to be headed out to Cajal in just a little bit. What do you mean? 